For all continues, Adam Curry with you on the bus, which has kind of been revamped for a special guest that we have with us uh, this evening. We have Michael and Jim from uh, Nitro. Welcome to the revamped bus, guys. What's going on, man? <laughs> there you go. Oh, hanging out. Good to see you. Nice of you, uh, you guys to drop by at this god-awful hour. <laughs> hey, man. It's, it's, it's wild. Really. <laughs> well, here to talk about uh, the album, uh, OFR, which, uh, since we're on national television, we'll refer to it as uh, Out Effing Rages. Right. Um, come on, say it, dude. Knock come on, man. Come on, come dude. on. Don't egg me on. Um, but, but before you guys formed Nitro, you had already worked together, right? Yeah, yeah. Did a little, a little solo album and uh, met at a beach party. I know it sounds crazy. Uh, a beach party? It's true, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, we met in uh, Venice Beach. Actually, a barbecue, but, you know. Uh-huh. Took it from there, uh, saw a video of him doing this. I said, whoa, dude. Got him to play and uh, started writing tunes, man. It was awesome. Really? Now, um, so you, you got together, and I guess you had an idea of what you wanted Nitro to be. It, I mean, it seems, especially from the album title, that it would be very outrageous to all extremes. That's it, man. Was that the, the first plan from the start? Yeah, I mean, well, you, you know, you know how he plays guitar, and I do the same thing with my voice. The higher, the better. And uh, it's not something we said, let's, let's try and be this way. It's just kind of the way we were. Well, put, it, put it this way. When uh, we only did one show before we got signed, and uh, we walked on stage. It was at Kazari's on the Strip. Jim <clears throat> walks on stage, shatters glass. It was all over, then we started the set, and I ended playing my <laughs> double neck guitar upside down behind my back. <laughs> so that about sums it up. And I think we should talk about both of those talents uh, before you guys leave tonight. Oh, another question, um, when people hear the album, will they have the same, uh, the same idea, you know, the, the, to all extremes, the fast guitar playing, the no last doubt, shattering yeah, voice? No doubt. <laughs> every, every cut's really intense. Every cut. Okay, great. Hang out for a little bit longer. Of course, we'll, uh, we'll use this stuff here. And right right on, we got uh, Junkyard with Hollywood. Michael here from Nitro, and uh, you look kind of suited up and ready to show us something. Well, where, where's the, uh, the quadruple neck guitar? Um, well, probably in somebody's living room. It got stolen when we were on the road. You're kidding. No, in El Paso, somebody uh, wanted it bad enough to, to break into our truck, crawl through the uh, cargo bay, and grab it. Really? Yeah. Well, so. thank God there is, uh, there is a picture of it on, uh, yeah. on the album, so people can go out and buy the album and then definitely yeah, it's, it's a on, look at it. It's on one video, so that's good. Now, now you, you design your own guitars, right? Yeah, yeah. I, in, uh, I invented the, uh, I was the first person ever to play two guitars at the same time, left hand and right handed, and that uh -huh. was just, I used to play it upside down, so I figured why pl flip it upside down when I can just have one with four necks made. And, and tell, me yeah. about, tell me about this particular model. Uh, this is uh, my design, and uh, Jim helped me design it. It's the, the rocket. It's 29 frets and aircraft aluminum. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> built for speed. Why don't you show us your stuff? Okay. As we say, shred it, dude. Anytime, anywhere, any place, man. Mike will make you look like a disgrace. He'll have to shred anybody to hell him back, huh? <laughs> Here's Nitro Freight Trade. Michael from Nitro is still with us, and of course, uh, Michael, we saw just a small demonstration of what you uh, what you can do on the axe. Now, Jim, I, now you, I hear you can break glass with your voice. No problem, man. Now, wait, uh, now I've seen Ella Fitzgerald do this in the Memorex commercial, but I mean, <laughs> how, how does it work? I mean, it's, uh, have you ever gone like this on a glass? Yeah, yeah. You got to hit that exact note. Are you under that frequency? Yeah. Is what it has to be. Well, you put it up to a frequency counter if it's like 995.2. You know, at 90, 95 point like two three, it won't break, man. It's got to be perfect. And and so uh, as as uh, Michael mentioned earlier, at the beginning of the show, you go out there and you can shatter you shatter the glass and then everything starts. Yeah. He also shattered the glass system <laughs> too. Yeah, I, you, I you blew the whole system up. I I blow monitors up and PA's all the time. The loudest singer I've ever heard in my life. But this can be a very expensive hobby then when, yeah. when it gets yeah. down to it. Yeah, we uh, we got EV. Give us more, give us more. <laughs> You're like a, a standard contract for every yeah, single yeah. day. Oh, that's incredible. Um, uh, so right now you're doing a, a, a tour? Yeah, yeah, we've been playing all over the country. Mm -hmm. Everywhere. Yeah. How's it's been the hell tour, dude. Yeah. Summer, 110 degrees, everywhere, man. Yeah, you were coughing a little bit. How, how, how's the voice been holding um, up? 
have a missed a note. Yeah, not one note. <laughs> <laughs> not so, one. So it's a warning, don't wear, just wear your contacts. It's probably the safest when you, when you go to the next gig. Oh, thank you guys for dropping by. No problem. It's been, been a lot great of fun. being thank, here, man. Thanks for bringing in uh, the stocks. Okay, cool. And uh, right now here's a band that just finished up a tour of Japan uh, with hordes of fans following the band wherever they went. Brett Michaels, in fact, said it was our hard day's night. This goes out to all you headbangers, uh, ball viewers in Japan. I wish I could speak some Japanese for you. This is probably better. Poison, I want action.